Shalom. Call Halal Yahawa Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. That were honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf. That will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rata Zah. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be entitled, It's Time to Get Right with the Lord. Okay? It is time to get right with the Lord. Okay? Now, at the end of the day, it's not of your doing. It ultimately, it's of the Lord. Because at the end of the day, the Lord got to call you into this thing. Okay? But if you hear these words, okay, through the spirit and power of the Hav Bashim Yahushai, he that ever hears, let him hear. You know, you're going to be activated. From hearing the words of the Lord. The scriptures say faith cometh by hearing. Okay. So it is time to get right. With the Lord man. Alright it's not my doing. I'm only speaking the words of the Lord. I'm only giving you warning. At the end of the day the scriptures say. Alright. Um, who is apostle Paul. Or who is Apollos. Roughly paraphrasing. You know. Apostle Paul. Okay he watered. Okay Apollos. Okay. You only could water. I feel bad for in the scriptures. Okay, but it's the most high. Okay, who give the increase. You see? So at the end of the day, if you have an ass to hear, if this is for you, if you can receive it through the spirit, okay, the Heavenly Father is gonna uh give it to his son, man. I uh, send uh Saint James the sixth chapter in the forty fourth verse. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me go to that scripture real quick. I have Romans 13 and 11. But I'm going to go to that scripture real quick just to prove that point. It's in John the 16th, it's like in the 6th chapter and the 44th verse. And it reads, No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. So this is red letters, this is our Lord speaking. And he says, no man can come to me except the Father which had sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. And how, how does that happen? The Heavenly Father is the Father of Spirits, man. Okay? I'll tell you that in Romans, uh, the 12th chapter. Okay? The Heavenly Father is the Father of Spirits. Alright? And it's by way of the Spirit. Okay? And he bring you into this thing, man. Okay, and you go here. Uh, let's get that real quick. Revelation chapter, uh, what's that? Revelation chapter 3, and verse 20. It says, Behold, this is the Lord speaking again. This is red letter. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. And how that's going to take place? Through the Spirit, man. Okay? Through the Spirit. Okay? So, at the end of the day, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Okay, it's time to repent and turn to the law, man. Okay, so let's go to the scripture that I had uh, propped up. Romans chapter 13, and verse 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. All right, we're in the great spirit, man. You got to get this. Word, okay, because the word is precious. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Heavenly Father, our Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, okay, it's precious, man. And you got to get it now while you have liberty to do so. While the men of the Lord are out on the highways and the byways, you got to get it now. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. This is the time. You got to do it right now while you got this great spirit going on because if this great spirit closes on you, okay, it's not going to be good. 
if you hadn't repented and turned back to the Lord. You see? That's why the scriptures say, let's go there. Uh, the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Okay? Scripture says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Okay? It says, Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he, he will abundantly pardon. The Lord is going to abundantly pardon, man. So you got to seek the Lord while you have liberty to do so. Okay? Because the Lord said he will not keep his anger forever. Let's go there. Let's go to the book of... Um, and this lesson is all through the spirit and power of the Abba Shem El Shai. This is an organic lesson. You know what the Lord said to feed the sheep. Okay? Jeremiah chapter uh, 3. I start at verse 12. It says, Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. All right? Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Verse 15, Jeremiah 3.15, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So this is our job, to feed you with knowledge and understanding through the spirit and power of the Abba Shemel Shai, because you're going to need it. Okay, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. The time that we're coming into, you're going to have to have understanding and wisdom through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashim El Shai, to be dwelling with you, man. Okay, you're going to need the spirit to guide you and navigate you. So this is the reason why you need to get this now. While you have the grace period, while you have the men of the Lord out on the highways, because there is such a thing called the famine of the word, and that's going to come. Okay, where there's going to be a crying, okay, in the streets. Crying for wine in the street, man. Meaning the knowledge and wisdom and understanding. You gonna you need teachers. You need someone to break this down to you to give you understanding, man. Okay. But that's a prophecy that this word is gonna be cut off. So if you don't get it now during uh, the grace period, you 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 you're not gonna be able to get that full that full understanding. Okay. This is our uh, Amos eight verse eleven. Behold, the days come said the Lord power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor, of, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay? And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You see, so a time will come when you can try to get this word, but because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't seek it, during the grace period, which you have now, you have the liberty to do so. And this is why the reason you have to take advantage of this. Okay? Because you have liberty to do so right now. But if you let this close on you, if you let the window of opportunity and grace close on you, it's not going to be good for you. Okay? No, it's not. It ain't going to be good for you. So you got to get this now because the word is precious. Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 11. It says, There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Right? So if you make this time pass you, okay, and you didn't seek the Lord, okay, then you know for sure you can expect judgment because you didn't sought the Lord. Okay? And it's going to be a judgment for that. That means you didn't turn back and repent. And that's why the scriptures say to repent and seek the Lord. Let's go there. Let's get our Acts. Let's get the book of Acts. Acts chapter 3, and verse 19. I start at verse 18. It says, But those things which the Most High before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Hamashiach should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So the Lord, okay, the Heavenly Father sent his begotten Son, our Lord, to go up on the, the, the cross to be the sacrificial lamb to give remission of sins to the nation of Israel. Okay? So, this is the reason why you have the you have favor with the Lord. You have grace spirit. You have a grace spirit that you could get yourself right. 
But we know what the scriptures say, not all is going to get right. The Lord is just dealing with his elect. You have some of our people, they're just going to be niggas until the end, and that's why they're going to be destroyed. Okay? Verse 19, Acts 3, 19, it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So you need your sins to be blotted out. This is the only way, all right, the Lord is going to accept you. That means you have to be, you got to be doing the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord, okay? As a matter of fact, you got to be chosen from the foundation of the earth. Because the Lord is only returning for his elect at this time. It's not going to be like what happened in ancient Egypt with the exodus coming out of Egypt where the Lord brought out all the Israelites out of ancient Egypt but only end up having to, uh, to destroy many of them in the wilderness because, because of their unbelief. Well, this time, the scripture speaks about a two-third that's going to be destroyed and a one-third that's going to be brought through the fire. Let's get that. Uh, the book of... Um, Zechariah, Zechariah 13 chapter and verse 8. And this is how we know our people are more uh, two out of every three Israelites is not going to get it right. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. This is speaking about our people, the Israelites. But the third shall be left therein. This is speaking of the elect. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Those who the Lord is going to show mercy because they're predestinated for the foundation of the world. And I will refine them as silver is refined and, I, uh, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. So we know I don't want to write the Zalm of that precious number. The elect is going to be delivered. And I do pray for the brothers and the sisters that believe in this truth. I believe when they have Bashi now shy. But we know two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed right here on this side. Okay? Because they refuse to repent, man. You see? They refuse to seek the Lord to have their transgression blotted out. When you go to the book of Psalms, all right, Psalms, the 32nd chapter, it goes into that. This is what you need. This is a, a Psalm of David. Miskel. It says, Bless is who's blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Bless is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile. So you need your transgressions to be blotted up. Man, the scriptures say if the Lord was to mark if the Lord was to mark iniquity, who who would stand? This is the reason why you need your transgressions to be blotted out, man. This is why you gotta be seeking the Lord. Okay? The Lord is merciful, man. All you got to do is call upon him. The scriptures tell you, uh, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay? All right, Psalms uh, 124 and verse 8, it says, I help us in the name of the Lord. So you got to call on the name of the Lord. You got to call on your, the, the, your power, man, the true power. You see? But we know, say, a lot of our people just stuck in their folly and they extol folly to the cloud. And they're going to keep on being wicked right until the missiles come, man. But at the end of the day, he that have an heir, let him hear, man. At the end of the day, you see, through the spirit power of Yahweh Ba Shem Yashai, those that are sanctified in the Lord, those that are predestinated for the foundation of the earth, they're going to get it right, man. So let me I'm a, let me go to this scripture. I'm going to read this, and I'm going to get ready to close on. Second Ezra chapter 9, I start on verse 7. This, this, should, this should settle... Uh, it should bring the point home. Okay? It says, And everyone that shall be saved, okay, those that are going to see the Lord's salvation, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape, escape what? The danger, the perils that are coming on the earth. By his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Okay? Your faith is automatically going to generate works. You got to keep your hand to the plow if you're in this thing. You got to be diligent. Scripture said to be diligent to, to make a call and an election sure. We read it again, 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7. This is going into those of the elect, those that are going to be delivered, man. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed, verse 8, shall be preserved from the said perils. Okay, remember. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1 of this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come meaning dangerous times man 
It says, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, but I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right, the elect is predestinated from the foundation of the world to see the salvation of the Lord within his borders, man. Okay, you can read Ephesians, the first chapter, right? So this is going into the to the elect. When you read Matthew 24 and verse 31, the Lord says he's going to send his angels to gather together the elect man from the four corners. All right? Now, I, I brought up the scripture, uh, Zechariah, the 13th chapter, and the 8th verse, which speaks about the two-thirds, how they're going to be cut off, and the one-third, how they're going to be gathered and tried, but they're going to be saved. Okay? Well, this is going into the two-thirds that are going to be cut off. This is 2 Ezra, verse 9. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 9. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, meaning you're going to be looking pathetic, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have known me, right? All during this grace period, you haven't seek the Lord. Okay? Verse 11. And they that have loved my law while they had yet liberty, right? This grace period, you have time. You're free to move about to, to seek the word of the Lord, to seek the Lord. But you're not doing it. You ain't trying to repent. It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, right? You despise the word of the Lord, right? Verse 12, it says, the same must know it after death by pain, right? Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. So you see, this is going to be the end result, man. The scriptures say in Proverbs, uh, those that hate the Most High, they love death. Those that hate the Lord love death, man. You see? So if you're not seeking the Lord, if you're not doing the things that's pleasing in His sight, if you're not repenting, okay, Ultimately, you know the road that you're going down to. I don't have to tell you. But just remember the four sword judgments. Re remember the lake of fire. Okay? The scripture says they remember Lot's wife. You got to think upon the things that you were not supposed to do. The scripture says remember Sodom and Gomorrah. You ain't supposed to do certain things. Okay? And when the Lord returns, if you find you eating, doing certain things like eating swine's flesh, and all these things, it's going to be a judgment, man. So you can't come as you are. You got to amend your ways and offend less. And repent daily. And shed the old man. Put off the old man and uh, 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 walk in the, in the spirit, man. As a new man. As the scriptures say, to put on as the elect. You see? So I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.